right. Have a good day at work. No time. Okay, hey guys, um, it's Imani. Don't judge the way I look. I had a wig on the day before, and then I just went to sleep, and this is how it looked when I woke up. But I'm about to take my water and conditioner mix and spritz it all over my hair and give my hair a nice, not soaking, soaking wet, but like really wet so I can detangle it because you know you never want to detangle your hair when it's dry. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, um, you know, work the hair, I mean, the hair, the water into my hair to make sure it's everywhere. Then I'm going to separate my hair so it's easier to work with. Um, if you guys would like me to do a detangling, like more in-depth detangling video, then let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm separating. And I'm going to get that out of the way with the clip. And I'm gonna, you know, take my comb and I always start from the bottom and work my way up because if you start from the top, then you might, you know, cause knots in your hair and then some breakage and then you're gonna lose your hair and then, you know, it's gonna be bald in the end. So, you wanna start by combing out and detangling your ends first and then start working your way up to the top towards your roots. And that's what you see me doing here. I had a hard time gripping the comb because my fingers were wet and it kept slipping, so yeah. Alright, so after I detangle a section of my hair, I like to twist it up in order to, you know, keep it from tangling up again and to help keep it out of the way for when I detangle the rest of my hair. And then after I twist this up, I speed up the um, video because I'm basically doing the same thing on all parts of my hair. So, yeah. All right, so this is my hair after I twist it all and detangle it all up. And after this process is when I move on to the shower. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm in the shower and so I take out my first section and then I get my hair soaking, soaking wet. Don't mind me, I'm all up in the song so I'm listening to. But yeah, I soak, well drench my hair in water then I go in with my shampoo. Alright, the shampoo I'm using is my Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. And it was in my favorite natural hair products video that I will put in the description box below. And basically when I shampoo my hair, I focus on my roots. I don't really try to get it on the strands of the hair itself. I just massage it into my roots because the roots is what we're trying to focus on because that's where the dirt and you know all the product buildup is. And after I massage a little bit with my fingers and make sure it's on there, I go in with my um, scalp massaging brush or Thing that I got from Vanity Planet and you'll see it in a second yep there it is and I got this from Vanity Planet for a discounted price I bought it for $10 plus shipping and handling and tax but the original price is $40 but I had used a coupon that I saw you know and plus it was already 50% off on the website but yeah after I massaged that into my hair I then rinse it off Make sure it's all rinsed out. 
and then I pin that up and move on to the next section and my camera kind of dies so it jumps to me putting my um, putting my deep conditioner in my hair and I use my three minute miracle moist from Aussie and I just you know put a good amount into my hair I like to drown my hair in this stuff because it's amazing and then after I massage it into my hair I then continue on with my shower rinse it off and then I go <laughs> but yeah when I shampoo my hair I do it twice I try not to do it twice a lot of the times but this time my hair was really dirty so I did it twice but my camera cut off so couldn't really see it but yeah I'm just working in my deep conditioner then I continue on with my shower I'm singing oh here I am okay so I had let my hair towel dry well air dry for boom 30 minutes then I go in with my Jamaican black castor oil leave-in and I use that to detangle my hair again and I'm you know doing the same thing I did as before when I went before I went into the shower I do not know how to talk today Hopefully this voiceover makes sense. But yeah. I'm separating. And then I take a nice chunk of the leave-in conditioner. And I just put it all over the section that I just um, isolated. Kind of. I guess I couldn't find my clips at this time. But yeah. I'm singing. Then there I go. Just working it in. Then after that, I start to tangle with my comb. Remember, start from the roots and then, I mean, not the roots, start from the end and then work your way up to the roots. See, there go the comb slipping. <laughs> and so after I, you know, detangle my hair, I go in with my Jamaican black castor oil that I got from the beauty supply store. And I work that into the section. There it is. But I work that into the section. And yeah, that's what I do. I then comb it again just to make sure that all of the oil reaches each strand in that section. I tend to chew on the inside of my um, cheeks, so if you see me doing that a lot, it's just a force of habit. I don't even realize that I'm doing it until I watch back, because it's just something I've been doing for years. But yeah, after that section is all nice and detangled, I like to stretch my hair. So I'm putting a ponytail holder on to it. <laughs> and I'm making sure I get it nice and tight so my roots can be very stretched out. Because um, that night I was trying to do the bun, you know, for my get ready with me that I posted before this. So make sure you go check that out. That will be in the description as well. So yeah, I'm just making sure that the ponytail holder is on very nice and tight. If that makes any sense. And then after I put the ponytail holder, I go in with a hair band. And then I just um, tie it around until I reach the ends of my hair. If that makes any sense, you'll see. But yeah, I'm putting it on there and I'm tying it around, making sure I stretch my hair in the process. That's what it look like. 
And then I do that with the rest of my hair. And yeah. So this is how I look. I look like the guy from <laughs> Don't Be a Menace. But um yeah. After I do the stretching, I like to put my edge treatment from the Jamaican Black Cast Oil line from Shea Moisture and put it all over my edges and also in the parts between my um hair. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. And then after I get the, you know, stuff everywhere, I like to put a silk scarf around my edges. Just, I don't know, just cause. There's really no reason why I do this. But I guess to keep them flat, I don't know, I'm really just pulling stuff out my butt right now. But yeah, I put that around. And then I continue getting, no not getting ready i continue with my day because i didn't start getting ready till later and you guys saw that video before this but yeah that's what it is and i put my bonnet on and just chill out man but thanks for watching this video guys i love you guys so much make sure you comment like and subscribe share this with everybody so they can be educated on how to wash their natural hair um disclaimer i am not a beauty guru or anything this is just what works for me and what I like to do and yeah have a great weekend guys love you